Yo guys, Whiteout here with another video. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best Streamlabs OBS streaming settings for no lag and no FPS shots. This video is specifically for Fortnite, but yes, this will work for other games as well. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss out on anything. Before we get into the video, 97% of you guys watching are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, the least you can do is subscribe and like the video. I never set like goals, so if this video gets 20 likes in the first 48 hours, I'll make more videos on OBS. We've been getting way more support lately. I appreciate everyone supporting the channel. Also, if you want to support me, all you have to do is use my code Wido in the item shop. If you do use my code, comment down below so I can shout you out in a future video. Now let's aim for 50 people to use code Wido by the end of next month and now let's get into today's episode. Now I know that there's debates on whether you should be using OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I've been using Streamlabs since I've been recording and streaming this whole time, but OBS will be more beneficial because it doesn't use as much power as Streamlabs OBS. But that doesn't mean that you can't use Streamlabs OBS. Comment down below if you use the original OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Now the first tip I want to give you guys is when you're using Streamlabs OBS or even OBS, make sure you right click on it, click on it again, and always run it as administrator. Running it as administrator gives you a performance boost. Now getting into the settings, one of the main ones we're going to be looking at is your streaming output. I'm recording so most of the options in here are going to be grayed out just like this and I can't click on it. So you want to make sure you have your output mode at, at advanced so you can get all of these options. So you can leave your audio track at 1, it really doesn't matter. But when it comes to your encoder section, there's two types. You have your software x264 and your hardware, which is what I'm using. The software encoder will use your CPU to encode your video. And your NVENC hardware encoder will use less of a load to your GPU. So if you're on NVIDIA, I'd recommend using hardware NVENC new. And if you have a decent GPU or a dedicated streaming PC, consider using hardware NVENC new. In most cases, if you don't think your PC is strong enough, I'd recommend using software x264. Your PC can handle it as long as your CPU isn't being overheated. So if you have unnecessary apps open in the background, make sure you close them before you start streaming. And also you want to have the enforced streaming service settings checked as well. Now moving on to the rate control, make sure this is set to your CBR, which stands for constant bitrate. Depending on your internet speed will determine how much bitrate and how good the quality of your stream will be. If you don't know how to do a speed test, I'll put a link in the description to do one. I'm also going to put up a screenshot showing the recommended bit rates determining on your speed. If you guys feel like your bit rate is a little too bad, you can also play with other bit rate options. And if you're streaming on Twitch, never go above 8000 because Twitch caps that at that. The highest you should use is 6000 unless you're a Twitch partner. So yeah, even if you can support a higher bit rate, it won't matter as much. It won't make much of a difference and you're using more of your load on your PC. I use around 4500 because my stream quality looks good when I actually stream. And yeah, I have a good PC so my quality in my stream is fine. I would recommend using somewhere from 3000 to 4000 bitrate. Now moving on to your keyframes, honestly I've been seeing people use 2 or 0. I don't know exactly what the difference is, I've been using 2 and I've had no issues so I'm just going to be sticking with 2. If for some reason you have any issues, I'd recommend just putting it back to 0. For my profile I use high and I have this visual tuning checked. Okay now we're going to be moving on to our video settings. Now for your video settings, you should always have your base canvas resolution to native, which is usually 1920 by 1080 or the highest resolution on your monitor. Now for your output scaled resolution, I'm only using 1920 by 1080 because I'm making a video right now, but when I'm streaming, I use a custom bitrate. So instead of using 1920 to 1080 on stream, I would use 1600 to 900. So when I'm streaming, the maximum quality you will see my stream in is that 900p. You can also use 1280 to 720, but using 1600 to 900 makes your quality a little better. Your internet does take a large factor in this, so if you have good internet speed, I'd recommend using 1600 to 900. So if you want to do that, all you want to do is go to Use Custom and type in 1600 to 900, then press Apply. I'm currently making a video, so I'm not going to save that. So yeah, if you're using 1600 to 900, I'd recommend using a 3000 to 4000 bit rate. And if you're using 1280 to 720, I'd recommend using somewhere around 3000 bit rate. If you're going too down your quality is gonna look really bad so I'd recommend using somewhere around 3000. Now for your downscale filter you want to have this set to buy cubic which is 16 samples. Everyone that I know uses 16 samples. You can go over but using anything over this will give you a higher quality but it also gives you input lag and possible stream lag at times. So if you want to focus more on performance I'd recommend having this set to buy cubic. And for your common FPS values keep this at 60. Okay now I'm gonna be giving you guys a few extra tips on Streamlabs. I'm going to be giving you guys more tips for performance. So if you want to have a better performance, you want to right click on your preview and enable performance mode. 
Having this turned off will help you in performance for your stream. Also, if you guys have your sources out like your alert box or your sponsor banner, this could possibly drop your FPS, so I'd recommend not having too many. I'm not saying that you can't have any, but just don't use as much. Guys, that is gonna wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys found this video both enjoyable and informative. If you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more in the future, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment what type of videos you want to see me upload. Also, subscribe if you're new because it means more than you think. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video.